mevrouw, um, heb je nog wit brood? When Sylvie does her shopping in the small Belgian village of Roestal, it's Flemish she speaks. But when her husband comes home, French takes over. Hello, Bonjour. Ça va? Ça va bien. Bonne journée. Excellent. Eric from the French-speaking south of Belgium and Sylvie from the Flemish north met eight years ago to form what is known here as a mixed couple, something that's not very common in a country where the two language communities tend to keep very much to themselves. French-speaking Wallonia is a warmer place, more welcoming, yes, more Latin, whereas the north is more Nordic, more concise, reserved, efficient, more hard-working. <laughs> Recently, political activity has brought these differences to the fore. The Northern Independence Movement want to be rid of the South, which they see as draining the stronger Northern economy. But for Eric, these differences are exaggerated. There are good and bad people everywhere. There are lazy and hard-working people wherever you go. When people talk, they often say it's all just a cliché, it's fabricated, repeated each time by the press to sell a few more papers, or just to find something a little bit more exciting. I think people tend to fan the flames a little bit. Eric and Sylvie would rather focus on the characteristics the two communities share, an approach that works for couples as well as countries. For a relationship to work, it's well known, there needs to be respect, you need to communicate, a bit of laughter, a Belgian sense of humour, that would be good. The pair hope their third child will enjoy being Belgian as much as their two daughters, who, for the record, are effortlessly bilingual.